Hello my amazing, beautiful, wonderful, fantastic friends. Welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see by the title, I filmed a what I eat in a week video, except this one is during that time of the month. If you have a uterus, you know what I'm talking about. I'm just gonna put a little quick disclaimer. This video is not meant to promote anything at all. It is truly just a video of what I eat in a week. I am not asking for advice. I am not giving advice. I simply filmed what I ate this week. I am not a dietitian. I am not a professional. I'm not saying this is the best way to eat. Eat however you want. Maybe you can film it too. Send me the link. I'll watch it. I'll give it a like. And yeah, that's basically it. If you end up enjoying this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up to let me know. But of course, if you absolutely hated it, which I would not blame you for, you can give it a thumbs down. That's okay too. Also, I never do this in my intros, but please follow me on social media. I'd really appreciate it. I mean, no pressure. You don't have to. And if you don't, I wouldn't blame you, but I'm just putting it out there. And of course, you know, subscribe for more content by your certified damsel in distress. And before I start to babble and this intro gets way too long, let's just get on with the video. Hello, my loves. Good morning or good afternoon. I've been having breakfast really late because my sleeping schedule is still awful. <laughs> but anyway, for breakfast, you guys are going to see this breakfast a lot this week. I apologize, but I had an everything bagel with some Kite Hill chive cream cheese, obviously sprinkled with everything but the bagel seasoning. And on the side, I had a sliced up apple. For lunch, I wasn't super hungry this day because my cramps were acting up. So I had something super simple, which was just a classic peanut butter and jelly. You can't go wrong with it. And then for dinner was one of my favorite dinners, noodle soup. I still get questions how to make the soup base, but it's just miso or vegetable or vegan chicken broth, whatever you want. Some soy sauce and then some nuclear noodle sauce. It's very easy. And then I like to enjoy mine with some tofu and vegetables. And then for dessert, I had my absolute favorite, which is a chocolate chip cookie from Whole Foods. <laughs> Do you guys remember when I pulled an all-nighter because I said I want to fix my sleep schedule? Maybe you're wondering, maybe you're not, but maybe you're wondering, Diana, did you fix it? No, I did not. <laughs> I had it on track for like three days after my all-nighter and I was like, yes, I'm doing it, it's working. I gotta delete TikTok or something because time is not the same when you're on TikTok. I just spend too much time when I'm on that freaking app and I end up falling asleep at like 1 a.m. I will get better someday, but that day is not today. So for breakfast, I'm gonna have something pretty quick and easy I was like looking at my fridge and I realized I have no groceries at all so that's good so for breakfast I'm just going to have some dumplings and then I'm also gonna have a cutie it's a very weird combination but why not focus on the cutie what are you looking at the cuties right here there we go why would you focus on anything else besides the cutie you know if I ever get a bunch of followers which I don't think will ever happen but if I ever did I have this idea where I would call you guys like my cuties but it would be spelled like cute D's because I'm Diana and my nickname a lot when I was in high school was D so QD's cuties. I think that was a cute idea I think they're done not very colorful. We don't got a lot of variety going on here, but it's gonna be delicious I love dumplings and I'm gonna be eating my dumplings while I stream if you don't know I stream like five to six times a week So you don't follow me there if you want no pressure <laughs> I'm actually not really that hungry probably because I had a really late breakfast and then I really want to continue playing Omori But it's already like 3 30. So I was like I should probably have a lunch So I got this Philly mac and cheese. I'm excited to give it a shot I feel like it doesn't really look super appetizing to be honest, but I mean it smells really good. So that's a good sign Hot. Mmm, it's good. It's tasty. Mmm. We're doing tortellini for dinner. I'm having this Kite Hill tortellini. I get this from Sprouts. And then I'm also having some roasted broccoli and one of these green chili cheddar sausages. These are really good. I would highly recommend them if you haven't tried them out yet. What is the point of having it if it doesn't? Explain that to me. Riddle me this. If peel to open there, why not work? I'm just gonna make all of it and then I'll probably have leftovers for tomorrow. I'm actually on that time of the month and I don't know, I feel like no one else relates to me when I talk about this. During my time of the month, I am either zero or 100 when it comes to my appetite. I feel like most people only talk about how hungry they get, which like same, 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 same. But then I have days when I'm on that time of the month, I can't stomach anything, like nothing tastes 
it's good to me and it sucks. Whoa, calm down. But like, does anyone else feel that or is it just me? And here is my dinner. Is this the same plate, dish, bowl, whatever you would categorize this? Is this the same thing I used for my dumplings this morning? Yes. Did I wash it? No, don't judge me. The less dishes, the better. Oh gosh, I probably look so awful. But um, I realized that in my last video, I showed you guys these, but I never showed you what I thought about them. And I really like them. They are dark chocolate mini graham crackers. Mmm, they're so good. But that's not my dessert for tonight. This is the main dessert. This has become my favorite ice cream. I love the oatmeal cookie chunks. Oh my God, mmm, perfect. Good morning, I'm once again having a late breakfast because I have no perception of time. Vegan croissant, croissant. This isn't my breakfast, this is like a pre-breakfast snack. I got some bagels at Whole Foods because I'm on a bagel kick. I don't know which one to have though. I got plain bagel, sesame seed bagel, and a blueberry bagel. Mm -hmm. I've never had the blueberry one, so I think I'm gonna have that. Okay, so what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the cream cheese and jam combination, because I think that'll taste really good with the blueberry bagel. Cream cheese on, I'm using strawberry jam. So strawberry and blueberry, I feel like that's a good combination. I don't think I've actually ever had a blueberry bagel before. So here's my bagel. I feel like in every single What I Eat in a Week video, I've, I'm always biting into a bagel. In like all of my thumbnails, you'll see me biting into a bagel. You probably will see me biting into one for this thumbnail too. Mmm, I think this combo would be really good with a cinnamon raisin bagel too. Mm -hmm. For lunch, I'm just gonna have the rest of my tortellini that I made last night, and I'm just gonna eat it cold because cold pasta is underrated. Mmm, <sighs> really? Right when I start filming, the train's gonna the train's gonna come. That's what we're gonna do. Why? <laughs> uh oh, it broke. Oh no. That's okay. For dinner, I got Thai takeout from my favorite Thai place. Mmm. Mm -hmm. This is the dish I always get. Mixed vegetables and fried tofu and a garlic sauce. I usually get a side of rice, but I made my own rice today. And there we go. So colorful. Nice big bowl of food. I love Thai food so much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know what happened to me this morning. I woke up at like a pretty decent time. I woke up at around six. Probably wasn't a good idea because I fell asleep at around like midnight or one um, just because I got into sleep paralysis. <laughs> and I woke up at around six and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna get up, try to do my routine and go to the gym and whatever. So I did my usual. I got up and I took my vitamins, you know, I drank my pre-workout. And then I don't know what happened. I have no idea what happened. I got super nauseous. I thought it was gonna happen like right away. So I didn't wanna like go to the bathroom and like puke on the way there. I'm sorry, maybe I'll put a trigger warning for like talking about vomit, I guess. I stood over the garbage can cause I was like, oh, it's coming. Like it's gonna happen. And I was standing over the garbage like this. And all of a sudden my legs got like, they started buckling and I got super numb and my head was so fuzzy. And I just straight up collapsed. So I just laid in bed for like a few hours. It's like almost 10.30 now. I think it's because it's that time of the month and there is these random times where my symptoms are actually out of control. I always get the nausea, I always get the cramps, always get the bloating, the usual typical symptoms and side effects of having a uterus. But then, can anyone else relate? I wanna know I'm not alone. There are like these random times that happen like maybe three or four times a year where the symptoms are just so awful. I wonder, are these period symptoms or do I need to go to the ER this other time where once like my cramps were so bad I thought my appendix had burst turns out it was just period cramps so yeah I think that's happening to me today I'm okay though us people with uterus uteri people that occupy a uterus we gotta stick together so yes I'm having a bagel for breakfast again I also started eating a croissant I'm eating the same thing over and over again but you know I got the bagels from Whole Foods and they taste better the quicker you eat them right I don't want them to go stale I'm also just in my bagel phase I'm having a bagel moment. Freaking love bagels. Oh my god. They give me so much serotonin. I kind of like doing little mukbangs on stream. They're kind of fun. It's like having breakfast or lunch with a friend. Well, more than one friend with like a few friends. It feels nice, you know? Feels like we're on a date. <laughs> the only problem with eating bagels on stream, especially when I add everything but the bagel seasoning, I get stuff stuck in my teeth. But it's worth it. Mm. It is 4 p.m. I am just having some. Mm hmm? Garlic and herb pita chips with Cedar's garlic hummus because I feel like it's too late to make a lunch like a proper lunch 
Ugh, I wish I had some falafel. I want a falafel sandwich. Pickless pork rinds and Texas barbecue flavor. Mmm. For dinner, I once again just had some noodle soup. It is the same recipe from day one. And then for dessert, I of course, again, had a chocolate chip cookie. Am I having another bagel? Yes. I'm going through my bagel phase, what can I say? The oatmeal phase is gone. We're moving on to bagels. Today, I'm gonna do a sweet bagel though. I'm gonna be adding some peanut butter. And then on top of that, I'm gonna have a sliced banana. I did not forget about my croissant, don't you worry. Oh my God, they're so buttery. <laughs> they're so buttery. And there's my breakfast. Bagels saved my life. They give me just enough serotonin to make it through the day. So I look like I'm cosplaying Shimizu or something. This is the Haikyuu Karasuno jacket. It's cute, right? But I did not have a proper lunch. I got too caught up with streaming. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is just how it be sometimes. So I ended up ordering from my favorite Mediterranean place because I love falafel. And I got enough food where it would cover like if I ordered for lunch and dinner. So I got a falafel sandwich that I've never tried before. So I'm actually gonna try it right now. So here's the falafel sandwich. Mm. Oh my god, that is so good. This place is very affordable, by the way. I got a lot of food for $24. I also got a side of roasted vegetables. Of course, I got their fresh hummus. I got with some pita bread. Oh my god. So I got the vegetables, got the sandwich, got the hummus with the pita bread. I got my usual falafel pita sandwich wrap. I got this with another side of roasted vegetables. So I don't know if I'm gonna eat all of this in one sitting. It's pretty early. It's only like 5.30. So it's earlier than I would usually start eating my dinner. So I figure I could eat it within like a couple hours because I missed lunch. This is what happens when I get too engrossed in the game. I knew, I was looking at the time and I was like, I should really get off and like eat something. But I was too engrossed. I was too immersed in the game. The game I was playing is called Omori, which I would highly recommend you give it a shot. If you don't want to, you can watch my playthrough on Twitch. This is just me constantly promoting my Twitch. And my Instagram, please help your girl get to 10,000 followers so I can do the swipe up feature on my story. I know it's probably really annoying to ask. I just want to be able to share links. And of course, I'm having a chocolate chip cookie for dessert. The reason I have chocolate chip cookies every night is because number one, they're my favorite dessert. And number two, when you buy them like this, you got to eat one, at least one every day, so they stay fresh. Okay, so for breakfast, I'm gonna have something I haven't had in a hot, that sounds so nasty. A hot minute. I'm gonna have a yogurt bowl. And why am I having this for breakfast? Because I'm out of bagels. Let's do a chocolate base. And I don't have any regular cashew milk, so I'm gonna be using this oatmeal cookie creamer to kind of thin it out. When your man leaves you on red. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. Maple almond butter granola. Literally looks like mud pie. Have you guys ever made mud pie or like dirt pies? As I cooked my lunch, I snacked on some of these Texas barbecue pickless pork rinds. I actually finished the bag, they're really good. And then for my actual lunch, I wanted something quick and easy, but still filling. So I made a bunch of bow tie pasta and mixed it with this Amy's spicy chili, which really isn't spicy by the way. And yeah, I had about half of this and saved the rest for leftovers. For dinner, I had one of my favorite Korean dishes of all time, which is tteokbokki. Well, this is actually rabokki because I mixed in some ramyeon and I also added some tofu. And yes, it was delicious. Highly recommend you try it. And then dessert was, yep, you guessed it, a chocolate chip cookie. I am so sorry. I'm so boring. <laughs> Good morning! I have decided to treat myself today. I made something a little bit more fancy. I'm gonna make some matcha pancakes. I use this pancake mix all the time. Birch Bender's plant protein pancake and waffle mix. And then I'm also gonna add a little bit of protein powder. And then I have these matcha love packets. And then I'm also gonna add a little bit of cinnamon. I already checked on the waffles and they browned a bit. That's to be expected. What are you gonna do? I have the yogurt, which I just added some sugar to. I'm not gonna be able to fit all the strawberries on it. I will eat them all, don't you worry. Strawberry matcha waffles. Mm -hmm. So for lunch, I don't feel like cooking. Do I ever feel like cooking nowadays? <laughs> This is the chili pasta that I made yesterday. And this is gonna be my lunch because today is editing day. I'm very busy and this does the job. Does it look aesthetic? No, absolutely not, but it does the job. 
for dinner, I saw someone on TikTok make their own homemade lo mein. So I'm gonna give this a try. Some sesame oil, and I got some pre-diced up onions, some garlic. While that's all going, I'm gonna start making the sauce. They didn't give any measurements in the TikTok. I'm just going on a whim here. Some soy sauce, cornstarch, brown sugar, and they used honey in their recipe. I'm just gonna be using maple syrup. There we go, that should work. I'm gonna add some shiitake mushrooms. And then they added an entire bag of coleslaw mix. So I'm gonna drain the pasta, add it in there, add the sauce, and it should be done. I don't know if I'm gonna finish all of this. I'll have leftovers then, because this made a lot more food than I had originally planned. What happened to the original plot of the movie? Damn, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good, if I do say so myself. Looks really good. Homemade lo mein. I will mute for people that do not like slurping, don't you worry. Mmm, would highly recommend. And of course, I'm having a cookie to end the night. Mm. And that is everything I ate for this week, which means that is going to conclude this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, if you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up to let me know. But of course, if you absolutely hated it, despised it, despised me, you can give it a thumbs down. That's okay too. Comment anything else you would like to see on my channel and subscribe for more content by yours truly. And of course, before you go, if you haven't already heard it today, you are amazing. You are beautiful, you are wonderful, you are so valid, and I am so, so happy that you are alive. I love you so, so much, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!